Hello, 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 and welcome to Joanna's Jazzy Jewel. Yes, yes, yes. I'll just give some of the others a few minutes to um, come on the live. I just want to thank y'all who are coming out this tonight and joining us. We won't be here long. I try to hold, try to hold these lives, limit them to an hour. Um, anything under an hour is I'm, because I'm going very, very fast. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, tonight again, I want to welcome you to this uh, edition of Joanna's Jazzy Jewel. I want to say that you can visit me at paparazziaccessories.com backslash 431551. That is my paparazzi number. Uh, that is a replicated website. You can go to it, order anything you like, anything that you see, have it shipped directly to you. Or you can go... Um, Again, uh, on the lives, uh, I do come on live. I'm on Instagram under Joanna Jazzy's Jewel. I'm on Facebook, of course, under Joanna's Jazzy Jewel. Uh, and I'm on YouTube under Joanna Lowe, okay? So, uh, you know, there's more than one place uh, that you can see me, more than one place to shop. Uh, this wonderful $5 jewelry. Tonight, everything that I'm showing is $5 each piece plus 8% sales tax, so that's going to be $5.40 per item. If there's um, anyone who may be needing me to ship the items to you, uh, all shipping is a flat rate of $5, which means it only costs you $5 um, to come in, okay? All right. All right, so having said that, we will now um, proceed. Everyone uh, um, knows that our regulars with me on Sundays. We do have live trivia. Uh, the trivia, if you uh, get guess the correct answer, if you just know it, you don't have to guess it. You may know. If you get the correct answer, then you are awarded one point. Um, and then, uh, if by chance you get two points, then you have an opportunity. You have won a free gift from me. All right. All right, let's get started on tonight. Well, hello, Miss Coley. How are you? So glad you could make it, and happy birthday. Belated birthday to you. Okay. All right, so we're going to start tonight off with these lovely pair of, um, these are hoop earrings, but they're hoop earrings made in the shape of a heart. As you can see, okay, uh, they do have all of that bling on there. Hello, Miss Jewel. Hello, hello, hello. They do have that bling on. These are for a post. These are post back. So these are for my ladies who have those pierced ears. Okay, bring it in. You'll be able to see the bling uh, there on it. If you like what you see, you're going to comment section. You're going to comment Jazzy twenty five. They're only five dollars. Five dollars plus tax. That's Jazzy twenty five for those. Now, I did sell a pair of these on last week. Um, these beautiful little red hearts here. They are, again, for the post back, as you can see. These uh, earrings, the name of them was called Just a Little Crushed. Just a Little Crush. You're doing well. So glad to hear that. And the number for this is going to be uh, Jazzy14, okay? Jazzy14. You like them? Again, everything that I'm showing tonight is five dollars plus that eight percent sales tax okay all right we're moving right along we're going to show three more items and then we'll have our first question for tonight now both of those were in the spirit of valentine's day we do know valentine's day is fast approaching um and i think i'm not sure oh it's gonna be sad is that could this come you know what that's the wrong calendar on the wall that's january all right, so in the spirit of Valentine's Day, I have this next item. I have it in two different colors. We have it in white and we have it in red. It's this stoggle tile, uh, style closure there, as you see. You just put it through there. That's how you close it up. This is a bracelet. It's a red with the silver uh, beads running through it. And the number for this one is going to be Jazzy 26, okay? So again, it's not a stretch. It's just a regular bracelet there. 
does have the heart in the middle. I have it in red and I have it in white. Okay, so if you like it, what you're going to do, you're just going to, in the comment section, you're going to say 26 red or you'll say 26 white. Okay, that will let me know. And again, they both are that toggle style closure when you just put it in and loop it through the heart. All right, that's a beautiful uh, Valentine's Day gift. Okay. Now for my clip-on ladies, those of you who do not have pierced ears and you would like uh, to get you a pair of earrings, these are a pair, they have this large rhinestone that's encased with the rhinestones going around it. Uh, it is again for those clip-on ladies, that teardrop rhinestone there. And the number for this one is going to be Jazzy 23. Jazzy 23. All right. So... Our first question for tonight, okay? Our first question for tonight. Let me get my... Oh, Lord, I have to get... <laughs> Got to get these. This right here. All right. Hmm. Y'all ready? All right. First question is coming from... It's going to come from Judges, the 14th chapter. All right? What were the stakes in a bet Samson made with 30 companions? Judges the 14th chapter. And the question was, and it, the answer involves a number. What were the stakes in a bet Samson made with 30 companions? Tell me what the stakes were that he made. All right. All right. <clears throat> While y'all are, are trying to figure that one out or looking it up, 14th chapter of Judges, I want to show you all this ring, okay? This is a nice, beautiful ring here, heart-shaped ring. It is purple. It does have a stretch back on it. All of the rings come with a stretch back, or I call it the accordion back. Uh, and this stretch back means that it'll fit. It'll stretch to fit sizes 6 through 10. So whatever size your finger is, if it's 5 and under, it's going to be big on it, okay? So the answer is, I mean, the, the answer is not 14, Miss Jewel. Uh, the, um, uh, it, it has some words with it as, as well as numbers. Okay, but the number for this particular ring is going to be Jazzy 18. Okay, Jazzy 18. All right. Okay. So, again, let me read the question. The question is, what were the stakes in a bet Samson made with 30 companions? He bet them 30 companions what? Okay. All right. Next, I want to show you this is a one, two, three, four piece bracelet, which means you get all four pieces for only five dollars. All right. And I have this one. I think I have this in black, though. But this one is in pink, as you can see. Almost a, that, it's a real light pink, pale pink there with those iridescent stones and you'll see the silver spacers in there you get all four pieces for five dollars and what i do is i take that silver one out and i just wear it by itself uh, from time to time the name of this particular bracelet is called destination dreamscape this is a beautiful four piece okay so the answer uh sister coley is 30 pieces of garment 30 garment and you are correct the number for this particular uh, bracelet here is going to be Jazzy 12. So the num the answer is coming from Judges 14. All right. It says 30 uh, sets of clothing, 30 of, of those, okay. She said linen clothing. So that's Judges 14, 12 through the 14th uh, verse. All right. So then that means... Miss Coley has one point, and y'all know how this goes. For those of you who are watching, who've never watched us before, what happens is uh, I will ask some questions. The first person I see on my side who has the correct answer, they, hey, Marilyn, um, hope you get a feeling better. I missed you today. Um, you have to answer two correct, and then you'll get a chance to win a prize, okay? You pick your own prize. If you see it, because I'm going to show it to you, you don't like what you see, you get to choose a second one. But whatever you choose the second time, you got to keep it, okay? 
And, and sometimes some gifts are nicer than others. All right. Next Next in line, we'll have the cut. Well, I'll show this plus a three piece set, and then we'll have our second question for tonight. I want to show y'all this beautiful. This is a bracelet, as you see, it has a lobster glass with the chain on 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 it on here. Good evening, good evening, Blunny. Good evening, Miss Blunny. All right, and so this one does this a little bit different there. It has these long uh, shoots here, and then they are connected with this old uh, circular uh, shapes there. The clasp is uh, here again up top, and look at that beautiful heart there, that beautiful silver heart. This is a beautiful bracelet. I have about four of them. So if you like it, you can get it only $5. The number is Jazzy28. And that's going to be cute, even if it wasn't for the holiday. Because one of the things about um, heart-shaped jewelry is that you don't have to just wear it for Valentine's Day. You can get it and, you you know, it's worn year-round, okay? Now, my next piece, again, I have two uh, earrings here for my um, ladies who have do not have pierced ears. This one is a blue-green, uh, beautiful uh, square-shaped pair of earrings there. And it does have uh, the... You see the rhinestones that are um, around it, that circle around it. Again, it's for my clip-on queens. The number is going to be Jazzy 16. Jazzy 16 for that one. Now, we're on to our first set of the night. If you all ever pay any attention to me, I'll show you the single pieces. Then after I finish showing the single pieces, I move into the sets. Uh, maybe one day I'll change, but I probably won't. Uh, I like just how it sets up better on the table, okay? All right. So, this one is going to be Jazzy 29. This is a three-piece set, Jazzy 29. First thing I want to show you is this nice, uh, lovely. Now, this is actually pink. Sometimes, again, I talked to the guy today. He should be out here Friday to put my lighting up. I don't, this is, this will be my third set of lighting uh, as you can see you can see it better this is a these are pink I call them open face hearts there with the pink hearts and they coordinate there as you see um, uh, oh my goodness I don't know how many one two three four. they have five different solid that light pink there is very pretty that iridescent stone this particular necklace comes with complimentary heart shaped earrings that you see there it does have a lobster clasp this is a short necklace okay alright no you did not Miss Jewel let me look I'm, I'm looking at last week right here no, nope, Miss Blondie took both. She took them. She took them all. <laughs> no, ma'am, you won one. You won one. One. Um. You know, question, but you didn't win the gift. Now to go along with uh, that particular necklace here, I'm going to show you this nice. These are the pink um, bracelet here. It also has a lobster class on it. Has the three pink stones there. Okay. And they coordinate real nicely uh, with this particular necklace. That is cute, is it not? Those are two pieces, okay? And then to cap it off, those earrings go well with it. I don't have a problem uh, with those earrings, but I do like these. As you'll see, these are two hearts there uh, that they are infused there together. And on one side of the heart, you will see that they have the purple uh, stones. I mean, not purple. I don't know where I get that from. They have the pink stones there to go with, okay? So that's a three-piece set. Each piece is $5, so the entire set is $15. Now, if you want to take it and you want to split up the set, you, if you just want the uh, necklace, you can do 29 necklace. If you just want the bracelet, you'll do 29 bracelet. If you just want the earrings, you'll do 29 earrings. If you say 29 set, that means all three pieces will be yours, okay? All right. Moving right along, let's go for our next question. Y'all ready? Get your, get your fat fingers. <laughs> I got to stop saying that. Get your fingers ready, okay? Next question. Upon what time did James and John ask Jesus to call down fire from heaven um, for its unbelief? The town didn't believe, that is. <laughs> I'll read the question again. 
Upon what town did James and John ask Jesus to call down fire from heaven for his unbelief? And this is in the ninth chapter of Luke. What town? I'm not talking about a person. I'm not talking about a number. I'm talking about a town. Okay. Let me just wet my whistle a little bit. All right. And again, the first person I see on my side will get a point. Not Jerusalem, Miss Jewel. Not Jerusalem. Okay. All right. Now, while y'all are thinking of that, I have a three-piece set that I'm about to show on my big display here. Why? Because it won't fit on my little one. All right. And I want to make sure you all see it. I got to make sure it lays right. I got to lay it right so you can see it right. All right. Okay. Now, this one is going to be Jazzy 30. Jazzy 30. It wasn't Bethlehem nor Jerusalem. Okay. Some good guesses, though, but it wasn't. No, ma'am, it wasn't Judea. Again, let's see. You can go to uh, Luke, the ninth chapter. What town was it? Now, this is one. All right, Marilyn, where are the Samaritans from? Oh, it's, it was from, okay. It was Samaria. That is correct. I wanted to know where was it from. Yes, hey, Bella's Night, you have been a wall. Okay, it, the correct answer was Samaria. Maryland said Samaritans. So I think I'm. I think I'm. Even though Miss Blunny was the first one to say Samaria, Maryland. I'm gonna give it to Maryland with this Samaria. Uh, she said Samaritans. It was Samaria. Okay. Okay. All right. I'll ask my next question in a minute. All right. Okay. So. This particular necklace is one necklace. It does have two strands, as you can see. And again, it's in, in right on time for Valentine's Day. You see, I call them your open face hearts, okay? You see through hearts, and then you have your solid hearts right there. It does come with a complimentary pair of earrings there. It does have a two-inch extender. Those earrings match the hearts that are on this necklace. It's a pretty good match. I think this is cute, especially for those of you who, you know, some people like a full necklace line there and don't have any problem with it and it comes with this matching bracelet here you see the open face bracelet there with the rhinestones on it and then it has the solid hearts and it also has um some beads there silver beads in, that goes along with okay i think that look at the charms the charms are the solid heart and the silver beads okay with the open face so that's a pretty good match there all right I'm gonna let it. I'm gonna let it hang out right there and let y'all see if you want to match it up there together. And then to, to round off and to close out uh, this particular uh, set here, which again is Jazzy Thirty, I want to show you uh, this solid face ring, a heart shaped ring. Uh, it does have the silver beads and it does have the hearts there. Everything's heart shaped. Again, comes with the accordion back. It's gonna fit sizes what six through. 10 all right five dollars for the ring five dollars for the bracelet five dollars for the necklace or if you want to break any of that up it's perfectly all right with me i do not have a problem with it at all all right i'm going to show the next set then we're going to go to our next question all right so the next set is also it's a medium-sized necklace here uh, does have what I call the open face or, you, or that you can see through it. And again, not all of the jewelry tonight is for Valentine's Day, uh, but the vast majority of it is um, just if you want to get yourself something or buy something for your daughter or your daughter-in-law or whomever or your daughter. This is a silver necklace here. You see the long necklace. And I'm going to bring it in a little bit because those are red uh, you might not be able to see it, but those are red colored stones there uh, on this particular necklace. Uh, as you can see, it does come with the complimentary stud earrings and they are red in color, uh, as you can see right there. 
I don't have anything against those earrings. I really don't. Y'all know when I say that what I'm about to do, right? I want to add these earrings to the mix. These are some beautiful earrings, heart-shaped earrings there. They also have that red, you see the red stone, have two hearts there in the middle. I think that is a lovely match to this particular set. And then I want to round it off with this nice red, see those stones in there? does have the rhinestones, but it also has uh, the red stones there too. So this is a nice three-piece set. And the number for it is going to be Jazzy 31. So if you just want the necklace, you'll say 31 necklace. If you want the earrings, you'll say 31 earrings. If you want the ring, you'll say 31 ring. If you want all three pieces, you'll say 31 set. Okay. Yes, Valentine's Day is upon us. Let me tell y'all something that is so sweet. She can be sweet when she want to be. So... I got um, 31 ring and better snipes. I got you. So, um, let me write it down. So, I, I, I got divorced in 2005. I've been divorced a long time. And my mother, I was all broke up about it apparently. And I really don't know why, because it was the best thing that ever happened to <laughs> besides Jesus. Um, and so my mother, my mother was like, I, I apparently, and it, you know, I signed the paperwork in January. Apparently, I was told up about it, and uh, she must have, you know, felt kind of bad. And so what she did, she said, Joanna, I don't know what kind of conversation we had, but it, it must have touched her, because. She says, I'm going to buy you something for Valentine's Day every year until you get married. And do y'all know she has not broken that promise? Every Valentine's Day I get something. Not one. Every single one of them. Okay? She has kept her promise. Now, a couple of years ago, this is what she said to me. You need to hurry up and get a man. Because <laughs> I'm tired of buying it. But anyway, she went out there. Whole world was out there. She put it out there. She's going behind it. But I promise y'all she said that. Oh, Lord. She said, you need to hurry up and get you somebody. <laughs> you know, but get the right one. Get the right, you know. But anyway, I just want, I thought that was a nice gesture. So I don't know what, if I'll be getting this Valentine's. Okay. <laughs> I know y'all tell me what y'all think about that. All right. All right. You just got to know my mama. That's all I can say. <laughs> you, you just you just got to know. That was that is definitely sweet. Very much so. Okay. Next and then after this we'll have our next question. This is a rose gold colored heart necklace okay this is a short necklace again it's that rose gold color uh, very cute if you ask me comes with the matching rose gold earrings there short necklace with the uh, two inch extender it does have a lobster clasp okay this has the toggle style bracelet that goes with it how you close it up is you just put it through there okay that is all you do. This is a beautiful two-piece set, and it does come together. So we're not going to tear this apart. So it's, it's a $10 piece, okay? Let me just say that. $10 plus tax because it's an exact match, okay? Yep, leave it up to my mother. So the number is going to be Jazzy 22. Jazzy 22 for that one, okay? All right, Jazzy 22. Okay, ladies, we're ready for another question. Let's get it. Let's get it going. Who baptized Paul? His name was Saul at one time. We we know him better as Paul. First person to give me the correct answer will get a point. First person to give me two correct answers will win a free piece of jewelry. No purchase necessary. And this is going to be in the ninth chapter of Acts. Who baptized Paul? Okay. Oh, Miss Freeman is out in going. That's exactly who it is. I knew somebody was going to say Jesus. I knew it. Paul didn't even walk with Jesus. 
Paul was not a foundational apostle, okay? Which means he didn't even meet Jesus. But he wrote two-thirds of the, of, the, of the New Testament, though. He took that thing and he ran with it, okay? He did more than them. Okay, the first person I seen with the correct correct answer got the spelling about off about pretty much. All right, Miss Bologna was the first person with the right answer. Okay, and his um, Aeneas, A N A N I A S, A N A N I A. So most of y'all, everybody got it right, except for. One person, but she was trying to get on it, though. Yes. Okay. All right. Okay. The next one is going to be good. So, as it stands, Miss Coley. <laughs> you right, Mom. You right. You was the only one. Miss Coley has one point. Uh, Miss Marilyn has one point, And Miss Bologna. All right. So, we got a good. We got some good. We got a good game going. Good game. Let's show another set, then we'll have another question, okay? Let's look like how it's rolling out tonight. All right, y'all on it. Y'all on it, I'm telling you. Somebody done been looking in their Bible. All right, this next one is a little petite, and uh, this was be this would be um, just a beautiful piece to me. It would be a great, uh, again, every piece is not for Valentine's Day, although the majority of them are. So what this is, we see here, this is a beautiful, it is red in color, the stones inside, and they are wrapped inside of a, uh, they're encased with, you should get a, <laughs> she says she should get a prize just for spelling it right, okay, okay. This beautiful red necklace here does have the rhinestones about it, it's on the short necklace as you can see. Uh, it does come here with these standard stud earrings here. All right. That are white. I don't have any problem with that. But I want to change the earrings, okay, and match these up. These have that red, that red ruby uh, colored stone inside of it, too. So this is going to be Jazzy 6 for this particular set. So those are the earrings that I had put up to go with that. Necklace. I want to show you this beautiful ring to also go along with this. Now this ring, it does have the open face heart, and then inside it does have the heart that is uh, affixed to it and kind of turned a little bit inside of it. So guess what? That is that piece there. And then last and certainly not the least, we have this nice, this ruby, oh my goodness, and silver bracelet with the matching, oh my goodness. So it matches, you have the ring, you have the bracelet, okay? We have the earrings, so this is a four-piece set, and we have this beautiful necklace, okay, to go along with. That's a $20 set, but of course, if you want to, you can break it up. If you just want the necklace, you'll say six necklace. If you just want the ring, you'll say six ring. If you just want that beautiful uh, red and silver bracelet, you'll say six bracelet. If you just want the earrings, you'll say six earring. If you want, or if you just want the bracelet and the necklace... Just identify it. You let me know what you want, okay? All right. Hello. Hello, Miss Angela. How are you? Okay. So next, let's have another question. First person I see on either side to give me the correct answer will be the person who will get a point. The first person to reach two points, you automatically win a prize that you get to guess. Okay? All right. All right, y'all. Got to think fast. Got to be quick. All right. This is the question. Recite the fifth commandment. Recite the fifth commandment. This is in the 20th chapter of Exodus. Recite the fifth commandment. Okay? All right. So while y'all are getting that together, we're going to go on with Jazzy number nine. Okay? Jazzy number nine. I'm going to tell y'all, this is the bracelet for Jazzy number nine. This is an orange bracelet here. 
Honor thy father and thy mother. Linda Coley is the first person I see with the right answer, so I'm going to give her the point. Okay. So, she's won a gift. Honor thy father. Okay, you got to say, and your mother, but mother. Okay, this is an orange bracelet for Jazzy number nine. I'm going to show y'all that. And because I'm showing the bracelet first, I'm going to show the the uh, necklace second. This is Jazzy 9, okay? Jazzy 9. This is the orange necklace. It does come here with complimentary orange earrings to match. And it... Miss Jewel, what, what commandment says that you shall not bow down? Well, you just t tell me which one you're talking about, because it could be one. I, I just don't know it, um, but yeah, it could be. So just let me know which one you're talking about. All right, this is Jazzy Nine, ladies. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. I just, I just had to give me a moment. All right, Jazzy Nine, this beautiful orange set, okay? Okay. That should not be. All right, then. Now, you could have come up with one that, you know, I ain't read about. Because it's, I had, you know, I'm not one of these people that done read the whole Bible and know it by heart. I don't, I, I'm not, okay? You, you might know something I don't know, okay? All right, Miss Coley. You know the drill. Oh, you saying the one about the jelly, but you, that didn't say bye, down. She <laughs> Marilyn, uh -uh, Mar <laughs> okay, now when she come, when she clap back, don't say nothing. <laughs> Marilyn says she need Jesus, okay. <laughs> we all need him. We all need him. Bag number three. All right, let's get <laughs> All right, bag number three. Let's see what you got. Look like something you don't want before, Okay. <laughs> All right, let's see. I've never opened this. Okay, I've never opened this. She is talking about you should not have no, but that ain't what she said. You've been this night. That ain't what she said. <laughs> I tell my people that work all the time, say it right so I can hear it right. Okay. <laughs> that ain't what she said. <laughs> Bag number three has this. Okay, I put it, it's a long necklace. I put it on the thing. I put it on the thing. See this? It is uh, silver and pearl. Comes with your matching pearl earrings, okay? Let me know what you want me to do. Y'all think she should keep it? Should she keep it? Should she keep it? Should she keep it? Should she keep it? She can wear it to her arm. Uh, her appreciation in October. <laughs> she said, that's right, Evangelist. That's right. Okay. <laughs> Ain't got nothing to say about it. <laughs> Throw my hands up. Y'all think she should keep it or should she trade it in for something else? Give it up. Give it <laughs> All right. I'm going to show the next one why, why she making up her mind. While she making up her mind, I'm going to show the next thing, okay? All right, get ready for our next question. Because she said, give it up. This is a beautiful red necklace. It's almost a little bit too... Uh, it's, it's short, though, but it has the length comes here. Those particular two inches. It does have a two-inch extender, so you can extend it out. I told you, Marilyn, not to say nothing. <laughs> I told you, when she clap back, don't say nothing. Okay. <laughs> All right, bag number one, you don't want to go. Okay, I got you. So, this particular red necklace comes with a two-inch extender. Okay, and it does come with the complimentary red earrings there to match. I do have a couple of things. I think I'm going to put this on my large one so I can tell, show you all more. She says she want to go to bag number one. She ain't studying that, all right? I hear you. 
All right, so let me show y'all how this looks. Yes, this will be a little bit better. Okay, look. <laughs> you have throw some laughing up there. Okay, so this is a beautiful, look at here, red necklace, as you can see. What I've done is taken and matched it up with this nice, this is a wrap bracelet, everybody. These, these are the easiest, the most lightweight pieces of jewelry, I think, Proper Roxy makes. Um, and they're very easy to put on and they not only that they look good on okay these wrap bracelets so I'm gonna stick that right there to show you well it might not can show you but the wrap bracelet goes it's not gonna look well it goes here that is so cute almost a perfect match to go along with that and then I'm gonna show you a ring so we have three pieces here to go with this particular set and this is gonna be Jazzy 4 jazzy four for this particular set if you just want the bracelet you'll say four bracelet if you just want the necklace for necklace if you just want the ring you'll say four ring okay if you want all three pieces that's gonna be your four set okay so let's look at bag number one and see what what's in bag number one sometimes you can you know you'll swap six for two threes and it's still six and sometimes you swap it i finally got this somebody to get me <laughs> i've been trying to get this away for about five months okay maybe even longer than that so you are now the winner of this uh pink and black okay i don't know what that is i don't know leather print leopard print i don't know but you finally won it, okay? And with the silver ball, I mean, you're going to rock this. You're going to have you a pink outfit with, you're going to rock that, okay? I just believe you're going to rock it. Wear it to y'all appreciation with that pink gown and some black shoes. You're going you're gonna, to you're gonna rock it. It's going to be beautiful. Oh, I just can't wait to see it. <laughs> And you felt like it. I don't know. So you might feel a re-gift coming on. Alright. Alright, y'all. That's that. Okay, that is that. Now, let's see. She don't want... <laughs> Give it away. Whoa. Whoa. Don't do that. Like folks said, no, don't do that. Okay. My next item up for sale. That's a Valentine's. <laughs> My next item up for sale is Jazzy 17. And it is again something orange. Orange is one of my favorite colors. Not my favorite. It's one of but look at that. These um lovely. And it, it sits so well on your neck too. Depending upon what kind of um if you got an open shirt or or the circular shirt. But look at this. It comes here with the orange earrings. Again, this is a nice set. I like the other orange set, especially that bracelet. But now I paired it up with this particular bracelet. This is a two-piece set. And again, this is Jazzy 17. Jazzy 17, okay? And this is a stretch bracelet, all right? All right. If you want to split this set up, that's fine with me. Okay? Okay. So, let's ask this question now. Y'all ready? Let's get on to our next question. So, somebody can win them some free jewelry. Alright, alright. Y'all ready? What man said to Jesus, Lord, I believe, but help thou mine unbelief. Okay. This is in the ninth chapter of Mark. And, and they don't give, y'all just got to tell me who said it. What man said to Jesus, Lord, I believe, help thou mine unbelief. And, and, and they really didn't name the guy. They didn't really name him. So don't, okay, me Jewel said Thomas. But you know what? I can see why you say that about Thomas. Thomas didn't say that. But I, good guess. I can see why you said that. I, I really can. But it wasn't Thomas. All right, now chapter mark. All right, while y'all trying to figure that answer out or looking it up, whichever one you may be doing, I don't know. Um, I'm going to move on to the next one. 
And I tapped them all. Okay. Now this particular set here, this is a nice three-piece set also. It wasn't, it wasn't Philip. Y'all, they didn't give the man name in the Bible. How about that? How about that? You're going to have to describe him in some kind of way. So if you're giving me a name like Philip or Nicodemus or Thomas, it's, 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 it's not. It's not correct. They didn't name him. Uh, at least I didn't. The thing here. Okay, what was this certain man? Tell me something about this particular man. Mark the ninth chapter. Mark 9. All right. Wow, y'all. Not the blind man. What kind of man? You got to describe him or his family member. Describe his family member for me. Look in the ninth chapter of St. Mark. Okay. And when you do that, it'll tell you. Then you got to come back and type it in. All right, while y'all figuring that one out, or looking it up, look around the 24th verse. Okay? All right. A demon out of his son. All right, Evangelist Knight, that's the one I'm looking for. It is the father of the guy who had the demon, okay? Right. He went, that is the man who said it. He said, Lord, I believe, but it's a part of me. And y'all, that, that is such a real. Something real, like I the young folks said, that's, that's 100. Something real to say. Okay. All right, I ain't going to laugh. <laughs> I said I ain't going to laugh, and I'm laughing. So, but what I was saying was, um, Evangelist Knight got it correct. You know, that's something real. I think that's a real prayer to pray. Lord, I believe. I believe. But there's a part of me that don't believe. And Lord, help that part of me that don't believe. You know, that is so real. And I, he kept that 100, as they say. He kept that 100. All right. Okay, let's show this particular red set. And then we'll move on and ask our next question. So this is going to be Jazzy number 5. And as this, the uh, game goes... Um, Marilyn has one, Blunt, Miss Blunty has one, and Eva Snipe has one. So this is going to be Jazzy 5, okay? Look at this nice, this is a wonderful thing. If you all think about wearing red, I know on Valentine's Day, I don't even know when that is. I think it's Tuesday. Not this coming up Tuesday, but the next Tuesday. Yeah, it is. And, you know, we've said that where we're going to wear red, okay? Look at this beautiful necklace here uh, to wear uh, to your Valentine's Day party, okay? Comes with the matching earring. Look at that. Beautiful. Does have a two-inch extender on this. Does have a lobster clasp, okay? I paired it up here with this nice, lovely stretch bracelet there that has those... Um, it has the circular in the middle, but then it has those teardrops um, going along. So this is a nice pair up here with this. And then to cap it off, I have this beautiful red uh, teardrop shaped ring. And it does have the raised silver around it. So this is a beautiful three-piece, okay, three-piece set here, ladies. And the number, again, is going to be Jazzy 5. Now, if you want to break it up and... Uh, Divided into pieces, that's fine. I don't have a, I don't have a problem with you breaking it up. It's not an exact set, but it is pretty close. Okay, all right. So, <laughs> Marilyn said a man fell to a knee. Okay, so we moving right along. All right. I'm gonna recite a scripture, and I just need you to give me two words. Fill in the missing two words okay Monday the 13th is a very special day to wear red says Miss Blunny and I am going to agree and let me say happy birthday in advance okay all right 
So, fill in the blank. Okay. Fill in the blank of this promise with two words. Remember, all I'm looking for is two words. Lord have mercy. Two words. All right. The peace of God, which passeth blank, blank, shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Two words. Two words. Fill in the blank. The peace of God, which passeth blank, blank. Miss Bologna says all understanding first and then comes in. Linda Coley, so that means Miss Blunny, you are the winner. And it all understanding is the two words I was looking for. And that is in Philippians 4 and 17. That's what our pastor was talking about today. That same scripture. Why Miss Jewel didn't get it, I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> that same scripture. And the peace of God. And he will give you that peace. Amen. I was fixing to make a point. All understanding. Yes, ma'am. So, Miss Blondie, give me a number. One through five. And, well, well, you can't say it's two through five. Because number one has been taken. Okay. Type two slow. Who are you talking <laughs> Okay. All right, Miss Blunny, you won that one. You want bag number five? Is that yeah? That's what you said. Y'all, I'm gonna have to get me some. I got. I'm gonna go have to go get my cut. Yeah, you said five. Look like a six. All right. This is. You know, Miss Jewel type it too slow. She ain't type it at all. Okay. So I don't understand. All right. This right here is gonna be. Our finale piece, and then we're gonna look at bag number five. This is a here again, and in, in just in time for Valentine's Day, this is gonna be 23, uh, Jazzy 23. Here, as you see, it is this red um, necklace. There it does have the rhinestones uh, circling about. I did, uh, uh, she said, Yes, she did. Okay, all right, so here. Yes, ma'am. On my end, I seen Miss uh, Evangelist Knights on, and and this is the thing too that happens because speeds are slow. Um, yeah, Miss Blondie was the first one on my side that I seen. I can take a picture and send it to you. She answered it first on my side. And then Nicole answered the second. Mom answered it third, and then you were fourth here. So, she got it on my side first, and, and I don't know what to tell you. You know, I, I used to hear my upline talk about that. Um, and she would say, I, you know, someone would say that they saw it, and she'd come back, she said, no, I had to see it on my side. I know exactly. So, if I um have to take a picture of it and, and show it to you, I will uh, send you a picture. It was first on my side. Oh, Lord. Now, back to what I was saying. Um, here, these are some rhinestone earrings that I have got to go. One of them is turned the other way. Alright, some rhinestone earrings to go with this particular necklace there, as you can see. Alright, and it's Jazzy 23. And then last and certainly not least, I have this beautiful red ring to go with it. And that is going to be Jazzy 23. So if you like the set, you say Jazzy 23, and you'll be able to get the set. Okay, but if you just want the ring and the necklace, you can say 23 ring, 23 necklace, and it will be yours. Okay. Oh, Lord. Oh, that's what you're saying. So you, now you know you tough. If you, okay, so you look at, see, you done gave somebody an idea. You look at it on your tablet, and you're answering it on your phone. Okay, okay. I got you. I got you. Now that, now I didn't know that this is number five. Okay. I see. You'll give somebody some idea. You know, we. I try to do that when I'm ordering. I tried that similar, something similar to that. 
when I was ordering jewelry, I was on, I get on my phone and then on the computer, and that that was my advantage. Because I'm telling y'all, sometimes when you that jewelry, I promise you, it'll be gone in like 15 seconds. If it's something that everybody like, you go on there thinking you're gonna scroll down and keep scrolling and looking. You better hit it and get out of there and come back in and order something the second time. Them ladies don't play. And I got in there and got caught the thing and hung it up. It won't even let you do that. But that's a smart idea. That's a smart idea. All right, Miss Blonnie. This and somewhere in my thing, I got a bracelet. You know I always say this. I got a bracelet to go with it somewhere. But this is the necklace, okay? Comes with the complimentary earrings. If you like it, y'all think she should keep it or should she give it away? Find you another bag, okay? You can get bag number two, three, or four. Oh, yeah, I said you didn't. When I went back and looked, you did. You're right. You did. You did answer it. You wasn't the first, but you did answer it. You were, you're exactly right, Miss Jewel. Now, she said, you got two folks that keep it. What you going to do? What you going to do? What you going to do? You will keep it? All right. Every now and then, they send me a pretty piece. You know, they'll send me a pretty piece to give away, and I'll be like, okay. All right. Sometimes they don't, and sometimes they do. It's just that this is how they go. Well, ladies, I do have a uh, Venice Snipe. I'll keep your, um, till I see you. I'll keep the ring that you, um, that you ordered until I see you. Um, I just want to say thank you all. Thank you all for coming in, joining in, and having fun again. Thank you for the last. <laughs> Oh, Lord, I ain't going to say, but thank you all. Thank you so much. Um, I did say I had that with my finale, but my finale is actually is actually this bracelet. This is a it's a black bracelet. It's just one bracelet. It looks like it's two, right? It's a cuff bracelet, okay, as you can see. All right, but it is. This is Jazzy 3 along with my beautiful butterfly ring that I want somebody to buy. Get you one. If you like it, buy it. If you don't like it, buy it, okay? Any, the end result is to just buy it, all right? So this is a beautiful, again, if you like that, I think that's cute. That's different. That is different. goes with my dress, too. All right? That's Jazzy 3 for that. All right, y'all. I was almost up. Thank y'all again. Y'all know I'll hold you with an hour because I got some, some things I need to go and do. Uh, thank you for joining me. Thank you for being a part of, uh, just being a part of my life. Uh, and all that you uh, have done. Thank you for sowing uh, into uh, the, uh, I'm just saying the ministry. I meant the business here and the ministry too. We all have done that too. Uh, everybody on this line, I'm sure. So y'all have a, a great evening. And until we see you again next Sunday, y'all have the best week, okay?